friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I am currently uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday with the bonus uploads in between. I am so excited to film this video. So this is going to be my zero to four week pregnancy update video. Just saying that just like sounds wild to me. If you are new around here, this is my first ever pregnancy. I've never, this is my first pregnancy update video I've watched. I'm not kidding. Probably a hundred of these from a hundred di different people. And I didn't know I was debating on if I should put this on my vlog channel or if I should put this here. I thought we would just start here because this is where I have the most viewers currently. And then I don't know. It's just like so trippy to think so far in advance, but maybe like the baby videos and probably the family videos. I do air quotes because it just still sounds wild to me. We'll go on my vlog channel. I have two other channels. If you're interested, I have a vlog channel, which I always link down below and pre-pregnancy. It's just my life. It was dating. It was living in Los Angeles, my Shih Tzu travel, lots of travel. There's lots of travel still coming up on that channel. I'm always backlogged on that channel. And I also have a reselling channel. So one of my part-time jobs is I resell clothing, shoes, handbags on Amazon, eBay, and Poshmark. So on the reselling channel, I do hauls with you. I share tips and tricks with you. So if you're interested, like a side job working from home or just to make extra cash, or you're just curious, I link it down below. But this channel, uh, we'll get into that. Let's just jump into the meat and potatoes here. So we're gonna do zero to four weeks. Now, I have to give you a disclaimer, I'm not a medical expert. This is my first pregnancy. I'm just sharing my experience from myself to yourself. If you are pregnant, I'm so excited for you. If you are not pregnant, thanks so much for watching these. I used to watch them when I wasn't pregnant just because I find them fascinating. So I have a couple of apps, so that's how I've been tracking everything. I've actually been tracking my period for about three years on this app called Flow. It's F-L-O. It's completely free. There is a premium version, but I've never paid for it. So it tells me my period when it's coming. It tells me um, when I'm ovulating and it's pretty spot on. And then they also have like articles you can read. And then when you become pregnant, you can put it in pregnancy mode. I just haven't done that yet because there's so many notes in here about my last period and these, the symptoms I felt after I was ovulating and all that stuff. So I'm going to go, um, start with flow and then I'll tell you the apps that I've been using since I found out I was pregnant. So, okay, so uh, we are three days past ovulation, so three days DPO is when I started having my first symptoms. First of all, I had these crazy ass cramps. It was cramps as if I was on my first day of pe my period. I, that is one of the harshest period issues I deal with is cramps and bloating and backache. And I was like, man, I'm gonna have like a raging period this month. Like these cramps are so early, like what is going on? I, I just, I had a lot of cramps. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you close-ups, but on the Flow app you can put, you know, it says cramps, tender breast, headache, acne. I love this app. I'm gonna keep using it. I'm gonna switch to pregnancy mode soon, but I'm also gonna just use it for life. And if you make an account, which is free, even if you get a new phone, I've had like six new phones since I've been using this, you just log in and it'll upload your information. And then I also had serious bloating, you guys. It was like cramps and bloating to the point I was like, whoa. This is starting really early before my period because at this point we are, this was like almost two full weeks before my period was supposed to come. So I just did, I just thought, cause sometimes I do get um, period issues before my period. So I was like, ah, oh, whatever. Now that I'm thinking back all those years, I was probably, probably ovulating. And this is what told me, whoa, something is weird. So on this day, I had some spotting. It was very light and I'm very glad. I don't, this might be TMI, but these pregnancy update videos, I'm not one of those um, shy, humble girls. I will tell you everything, not even humbled. I'm just not shy. I get very TMI here. But every time I wipe myself after the bathroom, I look. 
I've just always done that. I think it's something my mom taught me to do just to kind of make sure everything's good down there. It's just every time I do it, I just look to make sure everything's good. And I saw a couple faint, faint drops of spotting. And I was like, what is that? That's when my radar kind of went off and I was like, oh boy, that has never happened. I don't spot, never have. In all of my years of menstruating, I never spot. It's either I have like little discharge, just normal lady discharge throughout the month, or I have my period. I'd never had that. So I was like, oh, I that's this is the day I was like, oh, you know what? I should log this and flow because that is not normal for me. That just doesn't seem right. And so for the rest of this entire week, so what were we? We were, I think we're on day four DPO, day five, but for the next, I want to say 10 days, you guys, my breast were so sore. I mean, so sore to the point, even if I, ow, even if I touch them now, it's really painful. And I just noticed every day they seem to look bigger and bigger. I already have a pretty large chest. Normally I'm a 34 D. I am not exaggerating when I tell you I'm probably a 34 double D right now. None of my bras are fitting and just, this is odd touching yourself on camera, but literally just doing this is so painful. And I noticed throughout the days, it just got progressively more and more sensitive and progressively bigger and bigger and bigger. It's weird. I mean, big, no morning sickness at all breasts were really sore. And then what else did I notate here? So something else that I notated. So at this point we are, let me count. So we were one, two, three. Oh, so the symptoms I told you about the bloating, the cramps, that was three days DPO and the spotting. So now we are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 days DPO, 12 days past ovulation, the cramps started again. And this time it was to the point where they were waking me up at night. They weren't painful, but it was uncomfortable. It was as if I was on my period, but there was no period. It was like period cramps and period bloating. So I'm not kidding you guys. I probably went to the restroom like 10 times a day looking for my period because I, I just, I just was, I just had no clue that I, I don't know why I didn't think, oh, this could be pregnancy. I just kept thinking this is going to be a horrible period. And I kept going to the restroom so much because I had a lot of discharge, like more than normal discharge to the point again, TMI maybe, but discharge to the point that I thought I had started bleeding and I would wipe and it was just discharge. So I logged that on 10 days post DPO keeping track. Okay. So let that just continued the breast soreness, um, the breast soreness, the, uh, what do you call it? The discharge and God, do I already have pregnancy brain? I can't even think of the words I'm trying to say. Breast soreness, discharge, cramps, and bloating. That just continued until the day I was supposed to get my period, which was March 12th. No period came, obviously. Nothing, no period. So at that point we're at one, two, three, four. That's week four. No period. And so I just said, okay, because I told you my cycle fluctuates, and I know that because I've been tracking it in this flow app for three years, my cycle length fluctuates between 28 and 33 days, which is a big fluctuation. But they say if you're anywhere between 25 and 35 days, you're fine. So I was like, okay, maybe it's not gonna come on the 12th, maybe it's gonna come on the 15th, maybe it's gonna come on the 16th. That's happened to me. Sometimes it's come, the longest I've ever waited was three days. So it was supposed to come on the 12th, it didn't come. The cramps got a little bit more intense and then the acne started. So I don't wanna go too far into week five because I'm gonna do a separate week five video because that's when just a lot of other symptoms just started and I was just like, what is going on? And that is the week I actually took the pregnancy test and found out, oh, oh no periods coming. So that is week zero to week four essentially for me. Um, I'll do week five as a separate video because essentially the period never came and in week five is when I took the pregnancy test and just the symptoms were just, it's wild. I don't, I would love to hear, I've watched so many of these videos and I know a lot of the symptoms I'm feeling are normal, but it's just, I'm like, is it supposed to be this intense? It's just wild how your body just kicks into gear 
blood flows going to the breast, the hormones are working, so my breasts are huge. And so I'm currently today, I've just started week six. So I might do like a week five, week six update, or maybe just week five on its own because this is wild. Week five was kind of wild. So if you're seeing this video, all is going well with the pregnancy. I'm currently filming this on March, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, March 26th. Um, of course, I'm, I'm not, I haven't told anyone. At this point, the only people that know are myself and my boyfriend. It has been killing me to not tell my parents, especially my mom. She's wanted to be a grandmother forever. I know she's going to be so excited, but I just want to, you know, go to that first OB appointment, which is scheduled next week, week seven. And when I get the ultrasound, show it to her. I want to, I'll, we're gonna tell our parents next week after the first OB, and then around 12 weeks, we'll tell everyone else. So you probably won't see this. I hit 12 weeks in May, so you'll probably see this in May. Um, I'm probably gonna be uploading a lot of like pregnancy update videos back to back because I'm filming them, you know, months before, just so you guys can keep up if you want to. If you are new to this channel, I'm probably gonna post all my pregnancy update videos here, so don't forget to does pregnancy make you like goofy? Cause I can't talk. Don't forget to subscribe for my oldies, but my goldies. I know that like pregnancy and mommy stuff is probably not your vibe. Honestly, before I became pregnant, I would only watch those videos occasionally just cause I thought, oh, one day I'd like to be a mom. I find them fascinating, but don't worry. I'm not gonna inundate you with a bunch of like only pregnancy videos. Beauty is still my life. I mean, I'm looking at a huge box of Ipsy makeup right now. I'm about to film that video. So there will still be beauty videos and like fat. I want to do more fashion videos before I blow up. I mean, physically get bigger. Um, fashion and then there will just be a hint of lifestyle. So some pregnancy updates will go up once a week and then beauty videos. So it'll be a good mix of everything. So hopefully you guys, my oldies, but my goldies don't mind that because I know this is a big shift because I've never been pregnant before. I've never posted any content. I'm so nervous right now, you guys, because it's still so early. It's only week six and I still haven't, you know, seen anything. So I'm really excited for next week. It's exactly eight days away because I'm filming this on a Thursday and my first ultrasound is next Friday. My boyfriend's going and then we tell the parents the fall as well. So if you're seeing this, all is well friends and this is happening. I'm just, this is wild. This is wild. I wonder if I posted the video where I told my boyfriend. See, I did film that. I told him on the 19th. So what was that? Almost a week ago, week and a half ago. And I wonder if I posted it. I did film it, but I wonder if I just kept it for our memories. There's so many unknowns right now and I'm just so excited and I hope you guys are excited and here we go. This is just like a new chapter in life. Oh, hello friends. Present day Nikki here popping in at the end of this video. I was just editing that video you watched, what, five months ago? Four months ago? We're in August now. Months ago and I'm just, missing on how slim I was. I'll give you a little bump update. You're gonna see many other videos with pregnancy symptoms later, but this is where we at. This is where we at. This is where we are. I have on my maternity shorts. These are the one pair of maternity clothing items I own. Everything else I've just been buying in like bigger sizes, but yeah. Just had my, as you can see, I had my 25 week uh, visit actually today. So you'll, if you're interested in those, those videos are coming up, but I just wanted to pop in at the end of this video and do some beauty updates just because I told you, I still love beauty as I mentioned earlier in this video and I've been trying out a lot of new beauty products and I just wanted to sit down and talk to you and I didn't know when else, what other video I was going to put this in. So I just wanted to put it in here. So let's jump in, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on that update, I just watching it back, so many unknowns at that point. I hadn't published the telling my boyfriend, telling my mom. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link them down below. They're two of my favorite videos I've ever posted, but yeah, I was just so like nervous then. And now it's just, we're at six months and it's just crazy. So more updates coming, but first let's start with Clarins. You guys know I'm a big fan of Clarins. I will show you some close-ups of me using this. This is their toning lotion. I've never tried any of their toners and I really like this. So they have different 
varieties for this for different skin types. So I have the combination or oily skin, and this is supposed to help control oils, help control the appearance of large pores. I have very combo oily acne prone skin. Although as I've progressed later in this pregnancy, the acne has calmed down and I feel like I'm starting to get that glow that people talk about. My skin just looks very radiant. I love it. So I've used this a couple times and I like it. You will see this also in the Clarins review video that's coming up that I'm almost done with. But you guys know I'm a huge fan of Clarins. I feel like they're really underrated here on YouTube. So you will see me talk about that again. And then Pat McGrath sent me their Dark Star Mascara. I'll show you close-ups of me using this. First of all, I love the packaging. I haven't tried a lot of Pat McGrath, but I have tried some of her lipsticks, not many of the eyeshadows, and I have tried now this mascara, and I really like it. I'll show you close-ups, but look at the packaging. I love a thick wand. I have very short well, they're, my lashes aren't short. They're very thin and sparse. They're not very thick. And so I pack on, if I'm not wearing fake lashes, which most of the time you guys see me, I'm wearing fake lashes. I don't have them on right now, but um, I pack on the mascara just because my, eye, my eyelashes are very sparse. So I've been enjoying this. I will keep you posted on this and update you a little later. I'm looking at a ton of beauty products in my office right now. By the way, it was just... It was kind of like going down memory lane, seeing myself so slim, filming in my old apartment. I'm in my new apartment in my office right now, but yeah, I'm excited for all the stuff that's coming up. So hopefully you enjoyed, friends. If you are watching for more pregnancy updates, they are coming. I have been filming them over the last couple months, and I'm going to keep filming them because I find them helpful and interesting. So hopefully you enjoyed. You can check out my most recent video right here.